You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing. to another video so y'all i have the pleasure once again to work with her giving hair and this time it's a half wig y'all so they gave me these headbands and they are so pretty i as i show you showed you on the other video of her giving hair that i was able to use the headbands for those as well y'all i really wanted to have this wig for myself but i said no i want to really show both perspectives of doing a wig on my head and doing a half wig, showing how to do it on another head. So I'll be showing you guys three different styles with this half wig, and as well with the last wig that I showed you guys, you can do any style on this wig. You could do a twist out, ride set, braid out, and like as if it was your natural own natural hair. That's how amazing this wig is. So what's dope about this half wig, it has the combs, of course, and the um, the band straps to tighten the wig, but they also have a jawstring on it. And it's so dope. It really helps to form the wig to your particular size of your head. So it's like you have your own custom wig. So it's pretty cool. And the curl pattern of this half wig is a 3C, 4A. So as well, um, with my client on here, her hair blends well with this curl pattern. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, the name of this half wig is the three-in-one coily half wig. If you go on their site, this is what you'll see. And of course, I will have the link in the description box below. And the hair length of this wig is the 16 inch. I will also have all the tools and products that I use in the description box below, below as well. And y'all, I will have the link to this wig on my Instagram box as well as a thousand on TikTok. I'm trying to reach a thousand on TikTok to go live on this so I can show you guys more live footage of me doing my silk presses and stylings and everything, as well as my Instagram so you can see more of interaction with me as well. So check it out, y'all. So what I'm doing currently, I added water to the wig and I applied mousse to define the curls. I love how the curls are popping, y'all. So it's pretty dope. They are popping. So you can see the difference in the wig before I combed it when fresh out of the pack. And how it looks now it is so pretty. It looks nice and hydrated. So to blend her hair with this half wig, I will be using Eco Stylers Flaxseed Gel and as well as, of course, water. So I'll be spraying the water first, as you can see, and we'll be adding the gel on her hair for texture, for to really define her curls. So her hair really blends really well with these curls. So, But I know the gel will pop it out even more and it will hold her hair as the day progresses. I always tell people defining your curls is like a ribbon. You know back in the day when we used to have the ribbon and we'll get the scissors and we'll slide the scissors across the ribbon and then curl it. I always say that that's the same as defining your curls. So basically you're just curl combing it, giving it a little curve to your hand and like really just defining the curls. And I so I love using this denim brush to define the curls. Some things just make the curls pop, but you also can use your fingers to separate them too. So basically, I'm just kind of blending her hair with the hair, kind of just making the curls, kind of just styling it. So basically, you just kind of fluff it out, and I promise you, it'll just start blending. So we're keeping it simple on here. We're doing a headband, I'm using the headband that they gave to me in the package, and it's so cute on her. So I just slide it back and let it blend. And because we already added the other products, there was no need for me to add any extra products. 
So with this style, I'm just reinforcing her edges using that Eco Styler Flexi Gel as well. So I will be doing a scalp twist, so sort of like a headband, a twist headband, or like a halo little, you know, crown. <laughs> so what I'm doing is all I do to do my scalp twist, as I twist, I grab hair. So I use my index finger to grab more hair. So you twist and grab hair at the same time. So you're doing it simultaneously. So as I twist, I'm grabbing hair with the other hand. So I'm twisting and grabbing. So this is by far one of my favorite hairstyles because as you've probably known, if you've been watching my channel, my sister, which is my client, <laughs> she struggled with postpartum in the past and she's her hair is finally growing back in her edges. So it's kind of thin up there. So thankfully, what's so dope about this half wig, I'm able to pull the wig up as far as I can to make it look like it's fuller for her twist and blends so well with the hair so it makes it look like she doesn't have struggle she doesn't she's not struggling with her edges so it's pretty dope and y'all you really can't tell where her hair ends and where it begins I love that because all you have to do is just shake and fluff the curls around and it, you can't really see where the halfway starts so it's so dope every time I asked you stay you would sleep right next to me All right, yeah, you guys. So for the fourth and final style, we will be doing an updo. I really want to show y'all that this can be achieved. And of course, I'm using one of their other headbands. You don't have to use a headband, but I just wanted to show the convenience of and multi-use of their headbands. So I'm basically doing a messy puff, uh, like an effortless looking messy puff. So it's pretty cool. So I'm going to blend in the back, and as you'll see in the front, how I would do, I would do. so y'all gonna be honest I did two takes of this so if I'm wearing two different clothes that's why because I didn't have any footage of the back of her head and I was like man so I want to make sure that y'all see actually what I'm doing in the back of the head because I know a lot of people can struggle with that so I want want you guys to really see what's going on so uh yeah so I'm spraying water to you know make the curls back pop I put a little Moose, you can put mousse or gel on the curls to make them pop. I, uh, yeah, you don't really have to use gel on the wig because it pops in itself and it stays. Now, I do recommend putting the gel on your hair <laughs> because I don't know what climate you stay in, but I'm not sure if it'll last all day. But as far as the half wig, you don't have to put the gel because it is going to last. So with the jaw string that you see on the right side of the screen, I just tucked it up under the half wig so you can see it. Y'all excuse the little white piece that was on her hair. This product is gonna clear up when it dries. Y'all excuse my sister. She really thinks that my child is her child. <laughs> so she didn't want me to take it. But she had to show and do her thing with these results. 
So I am pleased, you guys. Or the color of a jewel. So divine is the feeling that I find. Like a sweet mountain breeze and a fragment of my mind. I said, darling, you are all I want for sure. Darling, you give me everything and more. I said, darling.